Um, hi. I'm so sorry that this is so late and that I haven't been making videos. I graduated high school and then it was just chaos and the first week of summer and then I got sick and blah 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 blah. blah. So I'm gonna make, this is just gonna be for the finale, the two-parter finale for both the Big Bang as well as the Pandorica Opens. So here we go. The intro to the Pandorica Opens was so cool how we we're kind of seeing it filter through the people we saw in the episode. I thought that was a really unique way to get to, um, you know, the big unveiling. It took like seven minutes or something to get to the actual, like, the intro. It's great to see um, Vincent again because I haven't made a video on it, but I'm going to, and I loved Vincent the Doctor. Only for Vincent, though. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> regardless, that was really cool, and, um, the picture, I really wanted that on a t-shirt, and then I realized I kind of have it on a t-shirt, because I have a t-shirt with, like, it's the picture Starry Night by Van Gogh, with, um, the TARDIS in the middle, so, yeah, I, I already have that t-shirt, almost, except it's not blowing up. Suntorans talk about Cross, who stole their handbags. I love it. I love Matt Smith's comedic timing. I think he's gotten better and better every episode, and that he's fantastic. The moment between the Doctor and Amy about Rory was really, um, I really like that moment. It never bother you that your life doesn't make sense. The girl with too many rooms and the house with too many rooms and things like that. I really like that moment and I really didn't want that moment to end. The crack in the Cyberman head looks really freaking awesome. Next on my notes is Rory in all caps with an exclamation point. And then poke, lol, when uh, the doctor pokes her, I thought that was really funny. And the heartbreaking, did she miss me, as well as, uh, you have to be bra very brave now, Rory. Oh, uh, I didn't think it would hurt as much as it did, as in, like, hurt my soul as much as it did, but... Hmm. Thinking back on that, even though I know the outcome of the Big Bang, it's still crushing. <laughs> the doctor's epic yell up at the sky, even though, like is nothing because they're all plotting against him anyway and so uh but I still thought that was so epic and cool and awesome. <sighs> Arthur Deville's acting at the end of this episode was absolutely phenomenal. His crying and his yelling and his hatred for what he's become he did brilliant and um I don't think we could have asked for a better moment in that moment. I know a lot of people didn't like it like Rosie didn't like the episode but I think that it was almost worth all the like building 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 up to things just to have that moment when Amy dies and I think I was in denial when she died I was like no she can't be dead that's not how things work that's not how this is gonna happen because I love Amy so much in fact I went and put on my big baggy red sweater that Amy has and um, I came out and sat down and said Amy Pond lives because um, <laughs> I'm such a nerd but yeah, I was definitely in denial, but Rory, he was oh, so good. So good. So overall recap, I like the episode, did not love it. Don't think it was the weakest in the series. I definitely think that was the, um, the Dalek one. I can't even recall the name. That's how unforgettable it was. But, uh, I definitely think that was probably still the weakest in the series. Um, but I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. On to the Big Bang. I love that little girl, and I didn't realize until I watched Confidential that it's actually um, Karen Gillan's cousin. That's really, that's really cool. <laughs> it's cool to finally see Amy's aunt or aunt, um, because, I mean, I built her up in my head as this, like, horrible person, cause, just because that's how they kind of make her out to be in the first episode, but she wasn't as bad as I thought. I also thought it was really cool that there was no such thing as stars in um, this world, because they've all gone out. I wrote in here, how rude, steals her drink, question mark. Amy, she was in the Pandorica. Oh, so much joy happened right then. And she said, all right, kid, this is when things get difficult or whatever she said. That was so fantastic. I love Karen Gillen so much. Funniest moment in the episode, well, one of the funniest moments was when she's figuring out how old, um, little Amy is, Amelia is, and she, you know, puts her hand on her head, kind of goes like that. Uh, 1996? <laughs> that was so funny. Amy's whole life kind of seems like a fairy tale, like everything that happens to her and everything she does, even her name, Amy Pond, that sounds some, like something out of a fairy tale. Um, sorry if you can hear the cars outside. But Rory pulling the Pandora for 2,000 years, so fairy tale-like. It was gorgeous. That, oh man, 
that filled my heart with so much joy and it just like warmed me you know when things just like you read about things and they just make you so happy that's what happened i was giddy 2000 years alone like with the person you love on the other side of a thick metal box that is impressive when they start kissing and the doctor is like you have to breathe and then uh Amelia asks for a drink and he goes, it's all about mouths today, isn't it? So much wibbly wobbly timey wimey, I wrote that down. It's really awesome. I loved the time. I love Moffat's use of, of time and jumping and I think that his stories are so strong. He has such, he's such a storyteller. It's a fez. I wear a fez now. Fezzes are cool. So good. Fezzes are so cool. Bowtie. Cool. I can buy a fez. I love that, you know, the universe is ending, but he's, you know, concentrating on the fact that he needs to buy a fez, which someone mentioned Doctor Who Confidential, and I thought that was quite funny. I wrote LOL Space Florida, because there was that shot of um, Amy and the Doctor in the TARDIS going to Space Florida. Love that. I was so right about Future Doctor. I called that. I feel really proud of myself. I definitely felt proud of myself when I, when I first saw that. It was impressive that I actually called something right. Um, <laughs> yeah, Future Doctor. Oh, I love that moment. That's probably my favorite moment in the whole series when he says, you have to trust me. I, I, I go back and watch that scene sometimes. It really struck me when um, they were sitting at the wedding and she opens the book and I was like, no spoilers? It was, oh, that was sad. That was really sad. And, and then the bow, she sees the bow tie and the suspenders and then she looks down and the book is the TARDIS and Oh, I loved the the whole something borrowed, something blue, um, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I love that. I thought that was just fantastic. It, using something that's always, like, always said around weddings and using it to their benefit. And the doctor is brilliant. That moment he had with Amelia when he kind of ignited that within her even though she was asleep. Fantastic. And, um... I wonder, I, I, I'm still wondering if he was planning ahead what he was going to say to little Amelia, knowing he was going to be there when he was, like, reversing in time. Did he just know, he, know he'd end up by her bedside, telling her these things for her to remember? I don't know. I, I'd like to get inside the doctor's head for that little bit, but uh, I still loved it. He came back. He came back. That's what I've written down here. The dancing. I love him. I love love that trio, the dynamic that they have. It's so good. They make me so happy. The last two notes I have are first, everything's going to change now, isn't it, River? Which is a Harry Potter joke, but um, the way she says, like, I'm sorry, but everything's going to change now. It was very, very end of Goblet of Fire. <laughs> I still don't like River that much. I'm excited to see Rosie's video on River Song. I might make one too. The last note is yes, because they're all going off into the universe together and it's a wonderful beautiful thing and I loved this finale. One of my favorite finales. Oh, all the finales are just so good. Okay, so overall I loved um, Big Bang. I sort of loved Pandora Opens. I think the thing that was keeping me from throwing my arms around it was just too much build up. I know it's supposed to be like that because the next one's the finale and also um, like Rosie said I didn't really believe the stakes. Um, I mean, I knew that they wouldn't just kill off Amy in the second to last episode. That's why, I mean, I was in denial, as I said, but I really don't think that it's likely that they would just kind of kill her off. And I know Matt Smith is going to stick around. That would have been really lame, and I would have been very sad. I think the confidentials this season have been better than a lot of other ones. I really enjoyed watching them tour, and I think it might be because they're both so new that we're, it's just seeing their new dynamic together. Okay, once again, sorry this is late, um, let me know what you think about it, and, uh, voice any concerns or questions you have about the, the finale, and I'll try and get back to you, but I've been really busy, and then I got, like, a 24-hour flu, and so I'm not, I'm not quite feeling up to, uh, things yet, but we'll see. <laughs> I also want to make more videos on this channel. Alonzi Alonzo.